Well, hello there, YouTubers. Welcome back. On today's episode, we're going to be looking at this right here. This is the Discovery Crystal Aquarium, where you get to grow rocks of different colors, and everything is included. So it's basically going to take about 10 minutes to set up, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay, so this is interesting for sure. And you do get a poster, which is really interesting. And you do get instructions, and you get your crystals. So let me turn off the camera, and we're going to be. I'm going to be reading this and then I'll try to summarize everything. Okay, so I have read the instructions and um, it's a bit frustrating because um, they expect you to do a lot. This is not ready to go. For example, these rocks, they're too big. You're supposed to break them up. This rock's like, like this and you're supposed to add this foil. It's not provided, you have to add it to the bottom of the tank. So you have to kind of get it just the right, um, just the right size to fit under there. They provide this, but they didn't bother to glue it. They tell you to use a, a uh, clear tape to glue it yourself. So you have to do that. There's no glue on it, it's just a picture. And the rocks, of course, you have to break them up into pea-sized little rocks. So already that's proving hard to do because they're breaking up into way smaller than pea-sized. As a matter of fact, they, I don't see how a child could do this. But anyway, the rocks are not supposed to touch the wall or each other. Yeah, this is not practical for a child to break up these rocks you would have to use a tool so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave in that size I'm not gonna be doing all that breaking up if they wanted us to break it up they should have done that And um, they expect you to use some sort of uh, tool, plastic uh, coffee steering tool, which I don't have. So I'm just going to use a plastic fork. And they want you to use a glass jar, which I don't have. So instead of a glass jar, I found a plastic cup. Where you're going to put 25.6 ounces of lukewarm water. And um, you were supposed to do that before mixing this up. But oh well, I'm going to do it backwards because I don't have another jar. So here are the two solutions you're going to mix, you're going to pour them both in there. And one of these, the sodium metasilicate, is um, toxic before you mix it up. And now I'm going to have no space left for the other one. That's a bad thing. Yeah, I have no way of doing this correctly because I just don't have a container that's big enough to be making all these mixtures let me see if I can go find something else so this is the only thing I have right now so it's going to be very difficult to pour this in here and finish mixing everything up 
this is terrible already. So I'm not happy. There's no way to do this. I don't know what to do. I'm going to cut this open. Maybe that helps. Okay, so I cut that open. So now I can do the final mixing over here. I like these bottles. They're very flexy and sturdy. So I'm definitely going to keep them and see if, if I can do something with them. Here's some more of that goo. So now let's mix it up. Okay, there we go. So now we have to make sure that it doesn't touch the walls of the tank. Okay, so that looks good. And you can see the chemical reactions. Let's close in. So right there you can see the chemical reaction. Okay, so now it's just a matter of waiting. I can already see them forming. You look at the green one. It's already forming. Okay, so let's just wait six hours and we'll be ready. They are growing. Okay, folks, so it's been over 12 hours, and as you can see, the crystals have grown. Let me turn off the light. Maybe that helps. Let me zoom in. As you can tell, the water has turned a little bit blue, likely because of that color coming out of this blue rock right here. If you put this white thing on the back, you're going to notice that it turns blue. Let me turn on the lights. If you put that there, it's all blue. So, oh, kind of got stuck in there. So let's, um, it does damage the furniture, by the way. And um, let me see if I can pull out one of the crystals. 
Ooh, they break. So no, you cannot pull them out. They just break up. So we have reached the end of this review and um, I do not recommend this. It's too complicated to set up. And if you put this on the back, it doesn't even look right. If you do it like that, it, well, it kind of looks right. It looks right on camera and personally, you see a lot of bubbles that make it look ugly. So it's better to just take it off. But when you take it off, you can still see those bubbles and it's, they make you put that silver foil paper down there that um, doesn't look very nice. I wish they had, they would give it to you with sand so you could put sand down there. And other than that, it's not that impressive. So I don't recommend it, but um, if you want to buy it, you can get it at Walmart or probably Amazon. So anyway, thank you for watching. Subscribe and thumbs up.